All right, all right. So we're going to take a look at the Anderson Silva versus Jake Paul fight. I didn't even watch any of this, guys, so I don't know what happened. I do know that Anderson Silva lost, though, because it's all over Facebook. So I did predict that. Like I said, Anderson Silva's a beast, but he's also 47, so you got to be realistic about it. Let's go ahead and see what happened. I'm going to take a look at the highlights. Yeah. I'm the one calling the shots. Uh. I don't get stuck in the box. Feel like I've been through a lot. All right, Jake Paul weighing in, looking shredded. 186.5. Let's go! Ah! Let's go, baby. All right, this is definitely the most shredded Jake Paul has ever been. I've never seen Jake Paul with abs before, so he took it to another level for this fight. Definitely training hard, put on some muscle, got shredded. Let's take a look at Anderson. Anderson. Anderson with the leggings. Man, I don't want to talk shit, but I'm not a big fan of men wearing leggings. I don't think it's a good look. Unless you're Vegeta. If you're Vegeta, then yeah, it looks cool, but I mean it's Anderson Silva though, so Anderson Silva really can't do anything to not look like a beast, I guess, but yeah. I think it, leggings are an L for men, personally. Alright, alright, we got the face off. Let's go, man. Fuck this anticipation. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to the actual combat. I don't want to see any of this stuff. If you do, you know what I'm saying? You can look it up yourself. Let's see the fight. Anderson Silva slipping, looking tight, looking sharp, moving out of the way. I'm guessing these are the earlier rounds, but that footwork, that timing, it's there right now. Let's see. But Jake Paul's also looking a lot sharper than he usually does. You can see him switching levels, not staying still, so we're going to take a look. Loves them body shots. All right. Caught him, caught him, caught him again. Some nice head movement from Silva. Man, just knowing that he's going to lose, not going to lie, it's a little bit depressing, man. I'm a big Silva fan. Sad to see him go down. But for the time it comes and it gets everybody. I wish Silva would have put in the towel when he was still on top. But at the same time, I understand where he's coming from because he's a warrior and I can't live without it. it. Must be the thing that he loves most on earth and... To keep going, no matter what, probably brings them ultimate happiness, so I can understand on that sense. But in another sense, I'd rather see him stop when he was at his peak. I don't like seeing him lose like that, but let's keep going. Was that, was that a fucking fake kick? Did Silva just fake kick him? Now, I'm going to be honest, when you're used to doing kicks... And they're mixing them with your combos. I used to do a lot of boxing and I did a lot of karate at the same time. Sometimes when I'd be really into it in boxing, I would almost kick somebody. And then I'd be like, oh shit, I can't kick. It's a boxing match. And it just get cracked because I was trying to kick. So, yep, that happens. It's imprinted in your brain. When you get it really deep into a fight, it's almost like a meditative state. You're really not overthinking what you're doing. You're kind of completely one with the moment. So, it just flows together. And it's 
part of the combos. It's right in the brain. Oh shit, that was a clean one. Some good head movement from Jake Paul. Some slick movement from Silva. Oh, cocky shit. I mean, that's Silva style though, that's Silva style. Caught him twice. I mean, at least it looks like Jake Paul is getting cracked a little bit more than he usually does. But he's also landing quite a bit of punches on Silva, from what I can see. Okay, the head movement is clean for both of these guys. Caught him with a few uppercuts, pretty nice right there. Alright, alright, looks like they're brawling. Not bad. At least it's not a one-sided fight, unless it looks this way because of the way the highlights were organized. I am not sure, I did not see the complete fight, so if... It is more one-sided than what the highlights are showing me. You guys can go ahead and let me know in the comment section. Caught him. Slip, slip. See, the one thing is I don't see any blood on Jake Paul's face. And I'm yet to see his face bloodied up in any of his fights. That's a little bit suspicious because part of getting in a fight is getting bloodied up. So it's a little bit suspicious that he hasn't been bloodied up and he's been in multiple fights already. So there is a bit of suspicion there with what people are saying that the fights are staged. I'm not going to lie because, again, Jake Paul's not bleeding. He didn't bleed in the last fight. I haven't seen him bleed at all in any of the fights, really. No broken noses. I haven't really seen any type of extreme damage from Jake Paul on Jake Paul's end. Um, then again, he is playing it safe, sticking to older fighters. He's training hard. He has the money. He has the best coaches in the world. He knows what he's doing. each other up a little bit. Jabs. Jake Paul's jabs are kind of sloppy, but his hooks are really nice, so I give him that. Nice right right there. Silva getting him with the It Man punches. See that? Silva coming in with the Kung Fu punches, hitting him with the It Man punches. Guys, Kung Fu isn't completely useless. Silva got knocked on his ass. Come on, man. That's some bullshit, but... You know... I kind of predicted that his ability to take damage would be... Compromised due to his age, so... Again, like I said, I predicted this. Not to say I'm happy to see it, but... It happened. Finish him with a right hand, but it was a four punch combination. That's it, and give it up for both guys. The problem drowned. 
All right, Jake Paul took the the win. But like I said, according to what I've seen in the highlights, then again, it might be different. The highlights might be organized in a way to make it seem more even than it was, but it looks like they were brawling pretty hard. Looks like Jake Paul didn't win as easily as he did in his other fights. And hey, man, it's Silva's age, you know. They win a long distance. Got knocked on his ass once. Understand how Jake Paul can be proud of himself because he's not a professional fighter, but he does have the training of a professional fighter. He does have the lifestyle of a professional fighter. He's been living this life for a few years now. He needs to fight people his own age. It's kind of dumb what he's doing. Um, I don't know. I mean, on one side, you can respect the hustle. He's out here making his money. On the other side, I think it's kind of bitchy to be fighting old guys and making sure he has advantage every time. I really want to see him in an even match, you know, something with somebody his own age, something with somebody that specializes in boxing only, somebody that's going to give him a real run for his money, and I want to see him come out on top in one of those fights. And you'll have my respect 100%. He does have some of my respect because he is going hard, he's training hard, harder than 90% of the men out here, so he does have some of my respect, but... At the same time, I can't respect him 100% as a boxer if he's not out here boxing people of his same age range and specializing in his same sport. He's using kind of slimy tactics in order to make himself seem a little bit better than he really is, to be honest. But he is a beast either way. You know, I'm not trying to take anything away from him. Just being completely objective about the situation. But yeah, that wraps it up. If I was wrong and the fight was more one-sided than what was seen in the highlights, like I said, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.